Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a perplexing issue that many developers encounter while working with IIS 8. Our viewer is experiencing a frustrating problem where their web.config file isn't being recognized consistently, causing their Laravel applications to misbehave. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this issue. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. The issue you're experiencing with IIS 8, not recognizing the web.config file, could be related to several factors. First, let's ensure that your web.config file is correctly formatted. Next, let's examine the rewrite rules in your web config file. The rules you provided seem correct, but we need to ensure that they are being applied consistently. If the application works after modifying the web config file, it may indicate a caching issue. IIS can cache the configuration, so let's try clearing the cache. Additionally, check the application pool settings. Ensure that the application pool for your Laravel application is set to use the correct version of PHP and that it is running. Lastly, review the permissions for the specific application folder. Even if other applications work fine, the problematic one might have different permissions set. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of IIS 8 not recognizing web config files, consider converting each site folder into its own application. This prevents confusion over which web.config is being used. In IIS, right-click the folder you want to convert and select Convert to Application. You can choose an existing or new application pool and set up any necessary authentication. By ensuring each subsite runs in its own application pool with its own web.config, you can eliminate issues with fallback to a base web config. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To troubleshoot why IIS 8 isn't recognizing your web.config, start by enabling failed request tracing. This will help you analyze the HTTP pipeline and see how your rewrite rules are processed. Next, use Process Monitor to check which files your application pool is accessing. Filter by your site's folder, the application pool identity, and the process ID. Make sure to run Process Monitor when there's no server load to avoid overwhelming data. With these techniques, you should be able to identify the issue with your application. Good luck with your troubleshooting.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. iOS 8 may not recognize your web.config file because it validates the schema against all features, not just the ones you have installed. Make sure to install the necessary features on your server. For more information on URL rewriting in IIS, check out the official Microsoft page. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.